Freedom is a big word. It's an important concept for us as uh, people in general and especially as people of faith. What does it mean to be free in terms of uh, free in Christ? This is our third Sunday in our series on Paul's letter to the Corinthian church, 1 Corinthians. And the text for this Sunday is uh, going to focus, or I will focus on this idea of uh, what does it mean to be really free? And uh, how do we, how do we uh, get there? Uh, and of course, a little preview is that we don't get there, it's a gift of God, but we can be ready uh, and uh, open to it. So we're going to talk about freedom this Sunday. This Sunday is uh, the end of a week in which our high school students have been at Montreat Conference Center for the annual uh, Senior High Conference. As always, it's been a, a powerful experience for them and their adult uh, sponsors, and they will be sharing some of their experience uh, at Montreat uh, with us in worship Sunday at the late service. And, uh, they will be uh, helping out uh, with part of that worship service as well. So we hope you will be here for that, or at least be online for that. We continue to have our 930 service outside here in the chapel drive, um, and the 11 o'clock in the sanctuary that will be live streamed. One other uh, evidence of life and the movement of the Spirit in this church is uh, is to be found on the walls of our hallway out here, as well as in the stairwells on both ends of the hallway. Uh, they are uh, wonderfully beautiful uh, pictures of uh, the various ways we are sharing grace with each other and with the wider world in this community of faith. Uh, it, it is a marvelous a visual project, and I hope when you're in the building, whether it's Sunday or another time, that you will take an opportunity to, uh, to take it in there. So this Sunday looks to be one full of life and light and uh, hearing the good news of freedom in Christ. So I look forward to seeing you then.